I just want Arya to open the doors. That'd be really cool. He complained about this marriage the entire ride from the home. <laughs> and now he's got it. The girls <laughs> love the reward of fool. Uncle. <laughs> Don't you drink, Lord Bolton? Never do, my lady. Dulls the senses. Hmm. Lord Walder let me choose any of his granddaughters and promised me the girl's weight in silver as a dowry. So I have a fat young bride. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Pardon? My lord, my lady, I need to find a tree to piss on. <clears throat> please see Arya out there. Please, please, please. I should rescue her. Your mother is less in need of rescue than any woman I've ever met. Be kind. That is also very true. If she had her way, I would be back in Melantis playing true. my harp, and you would be sitting over there eating blackberries out of Rosalind Frey's hand. <laughs> Perhaps I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Striking your king is an act of treason. Why is that one of our, like, conversations? I know. They are not yet man and wife. A sword needs a sheath. <laughs> Such a dirty old man. I know. And the wedding needs a bedding. Well, maybe we get to see a bedding ceremony finally. If you think the time is right, Lord Walder, by all means, let us bed them. Yeah! He's excited. <laughs> and the girl's got no clue. <laughs> yeah, she seems concerned. What does this involve? <laughs> Poor girl. Careful now, ladies. Once you set that monster free, there's no caging him again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. Oh, line. my God. I'm sure you endured yours with grace. Oh, Ned forbade it. He said it wouldn't be right if he broke a man's jaw on our wedding night. <laughs> it's such a net thing to do. Break a man's jaw. Hang on, what? Do the other men? Without the bedding ceremony, there's no real proof the Lord and Lady consummated their marriage. No, but there are other ways of providing. Mm -hmm. Boy or girl? It has to be a boy so they can call it Ned. I know what we should name him. Oh, do you? Tell me. It seems to me the father should have some say in his son's name. <laughs> That'd be so good. Don't you want to teach little Ned Stark how to ride horses? Oh, that'd be so good. I do. <laughs> she nailed it. Better be a boy now, dude. It's gonna be a girl. I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh, <laughs> just the utter of his name makes me like tear up. I think she heard all that too. Yeah. Oh, I just want to suck now. <laughs> the reigns of Castamere. Something's changed in the tone now. Yeah. <laughs> that song seems significant to her specifically. They're there. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Your feast is over. Doesn't sound like it's over. <laughs> if I tell you it's over, it's over. Turn this cart around. No, 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 no. No way. Are you soft in the head? Turn this cart around. Oh my God, no. This isn't happening. She's gone. Come on, Arya. I've given you meat and wine and music, but I haven't shown you the hospitality you deserve. My king has married and I owe my new queen a wedding gift. What? There is no way. What? Oh. 
Nah. No. That is way too far. This show is messed up. What? It's over, yeah, is it? Aye. It's over. I can't deal with this. Dude, this show is so messed up, man. There's no way, dude. If Rob's dead, there's no freaking way. Talissa's definitely dead. Well, they stabbed her baby. It doesn't mean she's dead, but she might be. Is that her? Yeah, was that hers? I can't remember now. Namiria? <laughs> Well, maybe it was Rob's. Hang on, did everyone just die, dude? Like, Catelyn. Oh, the wolf. Rob. No way, dude. It's the hound, it's the Blade. hound. <laughs> He's saving her. Yeah. My heart, it's just been ripped out for me. Nah, this is sick, dude. It's sick what they've done here. It's actually horrendous. This guy's going on my hate list. The king in the north arises. Why did Rob go in with so little freaking men? What's he doing? <laughs> oh no, please don't. Please don't screw Catelyn over. He is my son. My first. Son, let him go, and I swear we will forget this. I swear it by the old gods and you. Dude, Rob's not going to forget this. You swore by all the gods your son would marry my daughter. Take me for a hostage. Please don't kill Rob. Please don't kill Rob. Get up. Get up and walk out. Please. Please don't kill Rob. Please. And why would I let him do that? Rob's already broken. On my honor as a stock, let him go, or I will cut your wife's throat. I'll find another. No. Mother. Oh. He was a Lannister. No way, dude. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Holy crap. I'm focusing on the scene. All I can hear is you whimpering. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, this is one of those Joker moments now. <laughs> There's no way that this happened. That's a disgusting episode. Honestly, that kind of pisses me off. It kind of pisses me off towards the whole Game of Thrones. Like, that's just shit. There's no reason that had to happen, man. That is just... That's messed up on so many levels. I don't think I've ever seen anything worse than that in the show. 
like I, I suppose I'll give it credit for good good writing because it definitely messes you up. <laughs> but holy crap, dude! <laughs> I'm bawling. That was just as bad, if not worse, than Ned's death. Worse. <laughs> Definitely worse, dude. We lost. Uh, Nesdev was horrible, but that's worse. <laughs>